Uh, CASA Systems has an extensive history in the development of fixed wireless access devices dating back to 2008, where we launched our first 3G fixed wireless access devices. Uh, we have continued our fixed wireless journey over the course of the past 10 years, as we have evolved our fixed wireless products throughout the evolution of 4G and now looking forward into 5G. Uh, we have delivered both indoor and outdoor fixed wireless products to global tier one operators who have essentially relied on fixed wireless access technology to deliver broadband services into rural communities, uh, essentially without wireline uh, access. And whilst uh, fixed wireless is advancing towards 5G, 4G fixed wireless is still a very relevant technology and global operators will continue to deploy 4G fixed wireless services for the years to come. CASA are continuing to deliver 4G fixed wireless products to uh, global operators. And uh, we have also been building out our own uh, range, CASA branded range uh, of, of fixed wireless devices uh, that include both a 4G CBRS category B and category UE device that you can see on the screen. And with COVID driving people to work from home, uh, the demand for fixed wireless has really grown exponentially over the past year and uh, really uh, in turn strengthening the, the fixed wireless use case. Uh, with widespread 5G networks, many carriers now have nationwide 5G coverage and are actively rolling out their 5G uh, services. Uh, for 5G sub 6 gigahertz, uh, it's really well suited for fixed wireless propagation in a, in a much broader range of markets that now include, that extend beyond rural uh, markets and now into suburban and urban markets. One of the key aspects of 5G sub 6 is massive MIMO, which allows for more simultaneous connections and a better consistency in densely populated areas. This new wireless architecture is poised for large scale use that can be established and scaled quickly and, a cost, and cost effectively, uh, enabling service providers to provide competitive uh, gigabit 5G services to their customers. Um, CASA really um, understands that each fixed files 5G deployment is unique, unique and global operators not only have to architect their network around their spectrum assets, but um, really need to design a fixed files ecosystem that addresses their own individual uh, deployment use case. Uh, so our extensive uh, 5G Aura's Pro portfolio that you see on the screen uh, really addresses a broad range of NR and LTE frequency bands. And we also have uh, integrated state-of-the-art antennas into these devices that ensures the operator can select a device that meets their, their uh, individual requirements. Uh, the accuracy of the antenna alignment to the base station can ultimately determine the quality of service into the home. Uh, installation tools play a, a crucial role to ensure the technician not only carries out a fast and efficient installation to reduce the time at each site, but also eliminates any human errors at the time of installation, which in turn uh, lowers the total cost of ownership to the operator. Fixed wireless is really a set and forget service, so um, that tends to have uh, a product like life cycle of over five years. So a successful installation is, is absolutely vital for a successful fixed wireless deployment. I'd like to shift your attention now to Millimetre Wave and, and all the exciting things that it will bring along with it. Uh, so Millimetre Wave will uh, deliver greater bandwidth, allowing networks to handle uh, more devices. Uh, carriers will also be able to provide fiber equivalent data services, really competing against services like Fibre to the Home. Uh, and Millimetre, Millimetre Wave will also uh, deliver lower latency, which not only provides great customer satisfaction, obviously, but also it will deliver a broad range of uh, enterprise uh, use cases, such as uh, addressing middle mission critical applications, or you know, uh, some of the futuristic uh, applications like driverless cars. Uh, now there are two main uh, uh, two main uh, millimeter wave transceivers in the market today with two uh, very different use cases. So on the left hand side, uh, we have what we call low power uh, millimeter wave, which essentially is used more for mobility devices such as handsets and hotspots. And then you have high power millimeter wave that has been very specifically designed and engineered for enhanced mobile broadband fixed wireless access. 
Millimeter wave will of course bring with it some challenges uh, that network operators will carefully need to consider, uh, such as propagation distance between the genode B and the CPE. Uh, attenuation losses where line of sight becomes a lot more relevant for a fixed wireless deployment. And as operators build out their network, uh, millimeter wave network, they may need to send a technician out to the customer site to realign the CPE antenna to a genome B in a close proximity. Uh, and millimeter wave also tends to bounce off objects. So uh, the signal could potentially come in from a different location to the CPE. For future operators, so, so, pardon me, for, for operators who have a millimeter wave spectrum or planning on acquiring new spectrum, will need to carefully consider their end-to-end -end fixed wireless architecture. The millimeter wave CPE, the access device, plays a crucial role to ensure operators optimize the link budget and ultimately maximizes the use of their spectrum assets. So CASA have uh, recently uh, it launched its Aorus AI 5G high power millimeter wave portfolio, as you can see on, on the screen. Uh, the CASA Aorus AI is a high power millimeter wave device that wirelessly connects to a millimeter wave network. Um, and as you can see here, it's mounted on the outside of the premises in an optimal location, ideally line of sight to the base station. Uh, and the Aorus AI will deliver broadband connectivity via the outdoor ethernet cable inside the premises to deliver data hungry homes and businesses with uh, broadband services. Uh, the Aorus AI integrates a powerful uh, Category 20 5G modem uh, that supports a broad ran range of millimeter wave uh, NR sub-6 and LTE frequency bands. Uh, we've also put a, a considerable amount of uh, thought into the industrial design. Uh, as you can see, the industrial design blends into more of an urban uh, landscape and also into uh, multi-dwelling architecture as well. Uh, it's, it's robust uh, IP65 rated enclosure also withstands extreme temperature conditions. Uh, the, we have also integrated a user-friendly mounting design to ensure a fast and safe and secure installation for the, uh, for the technician on site. And uh, we've also got a, uh, in, uh, an innovative thermal design to ensure that the devices can operate at peak rates um, and also in extreme weather conditions. Uh, we've carefully considered the challenges associated with high frequency ranges that millimeter wave operates in, such as shorter propagation range, line of sight, connectivity and rapidly evolving networks, as I mentioned in the earlier slides. And uh, we have innovated engineering autonomous intelligent or AI uh, steering antennas to address uh, these particular issues. Uh, the Aorus AI antenna, uh, the internal antennas rotate 360 degrees to locate the strongest signal to ensure the end user receives the best signal quality into the premises. Uh, the CASA AI technology brings uh, a reliable connectivity over the lifetime of the product or service. Uh, it assists the installer locate the strongest signal and thereby reduce the overall time uh, at site. And also reduces the requirement for, you know, uh, a lot of training and, and expertise required to align high power uh, antenna modules to, to, to the genode B. Uh, and, um, and as operators build out their 5G network, the Aorus AI will continually locate the, uh, the most efficient and strongest signal to ensure ongoing service quality and avoid the repeat site visits by the technician, lowering the total cost of ownership to the operator. Um, we've considered uh, multiple flexible mounting options. Uh, the Aorus AI has an integrated pole mount that can be mounted uh, with different various mounting structures. Uh, line of sight is very important. So uh, this tripod mount is ideal to have the device elevated uh, above and beyond, uh, let's say a tree line. We also have uh, an integrated, uh, sorry, uh, pardon me, we also have a versatile rail mount and also wall mount uh, for, for, I designed primarily for those multi-dwelling uh, uh, use cases. 
and finally, we have also been actively deploying our millimetre wave device in a number of global field trials that have been publicly announced. Uh, these uh, global proof of concepts have been in collaboration with our partner Ericsson and at Qualcomm, and we've achieved uh, a number of world first achievements where we have demonstrated that millimetre wave can be extended as far as uh, seven kilometres, or I think that's 4.5 uh, miles, uh, achieving one gigabit per second over, over those sorts of distances. So uh, 5G millimetre wave technology is, is set to really disrupt broadband connectivity all over the world. Um, high power millimetre wave will deliver unparalleled gigabit speeds to homes and businesses and global operators can now really tap into a large amount of, of this high frequency spectrum that's becoming available. Uh, CASA are incredibly excited to be a part of the evolution into 5G and we look forward to continuing uh, to build out our 5G portfolio.